Welcome to the PCFL Show. On this week's episode, we've got highlights from our Week 4 games and previews of Week 5. PCFL Show is brought to you in part by 916 Design Studio. For all your design needs, call 916-747-9255. Also by Hosted Sports, the only one-stop place for all sports on the web. The Outlaws get on the board first. After a fumbled snap, Don Vargas scoops it up and takes it in for the score. In the second quarter, after a Terrell Woodall first down, Joe Joyner runs it in for the touchdown. Omari Green grabs his second interception of the day. And Johnny Garcia puts the field goal through for his second of the day. After a Dom Vargas interception, Teddy Anderson scrambles and takes it in for the touchdown. Joe Joyner takes in his second score of the day. And Tommy Hampton adds to the two touchdown total, first with this one here. And his second one here from 40 yards out, finishing the day with 167 yards and two touchdowns on 15 carries. And your final score is South Beach Outlaws 49, Golden State Giants nothing. Three plays in on their opening drive, and Logan Hollis hits Antonio Duplessis for a 29-yard touchdown strike. And on their second possession, Logan Hollis hits Robbie Longen for the score. And on their next possession, a six-play drive was capped with this touchdown throw from Logan Hollis to McRuben Flornord. After an exchange of fumbles at the beginning of the second quarter, quarterback A.J. Chambers scores on the sneak. But the Bulls interrupted the Fury momentum as Jason Winter picks off the ball and takes it back to midfield. Fury quarterback Logan Hollis finished the day 16 of 23 for 252 yards and four touchdowns. This one to Steve Dickinson. The Fury also scored on the ground with touchdown runs from Jarrell Nelson, Cisco Ragsdale, Tier Drayton, capped off by a run from Kirk Brown. And your final score is Capital City Fury 62, Tri-Valley Bulls nothing. The Islanders get on the board first as Miles Gates hits Jihad Mahasan for the touchdown. And in the second quarter, Barnstormer momentum was killed with this Islander interception. But Barnstormer Chad Kakobin returns the favor. But things start to swing back the Barnstormer way in the third quarter when Ben Murdoch recovers the fumble. And Corey Murphy then hits Randy Lambert for the touchdown. And later on in the quarter, quarterback Corey Murphy gets the Barnstormers into the red zone with this pass to Aaron Wallace. where he takes it the rest of the way himself. And Danny Betancourt finishes the day two for two on PATs, and your final score is Central Coast Barnstormers 14, Pacifica Islanders 7. The Chiefs get on the board first as Kyle Allen hits Austin Winston, who makes a couple moves and takes it the distance. After pressure pushed the Spartans back, Jordan Hales gets the safety. And the Chiefs extend their lead as Kyle Allen rolls out and hits Ahmad Lewis for an 89-yard score. The point after is no good and it's 15-0. But the Spartans answer back as Calvin Buchanan takes it outside and into the end zone. In the third quarter, the Spartans score again as the ball is picked and taken the distance for the touchdown. They go for two and tie it up. And with about 40 seconds left on the clock, Cody Walters hits the field goal to take the lead 18-15. 
but the Spartans come right back with two huge passes and a chance to tie with five seconds left. And Daniel Torres puts a 38-yarder through the uprights, and we're going to overtime. The Chiefs win the toss, second down, Kyle Allen hits Tony Edmondson for the touchdown, and the point after is good. And once again, the Spartans respond as Joey Stefani comes down with the ball for the score. They too tie it up with a point after. Fourth down in double overtime, Kyle Allen threads one to Austin Winston. They decide to go for two and hit Tony Edmondson for the conversion. Phelan Cotton for the Spartans takes the direct snap and into the end zone. But when they go for two, they come up short. And your final score is Solano Chiefs 33, Salinas Valley Spartans 31. You are watching the PCFL Show with your host, Angry Mike. After a scoreless first quarter, Anthony Gagliano gives the Eagles a 3-0 lead. A scoring opportunity for the War Angels is foiled by Tony Foster, who picks the ball off. But a few plays later, the Eagles call for a deep pass, and a chop block in the end zone results in a safety. The War Angels take the lead as Willie Evans dives in for the touchdown. But the point after is blocked by Hector Reyna. On the next series, Alan Webster takes the toss for the Eagles takes it the distance, 63 yards for the touchdown. But the War Angels answer back with this touchdown pass to Cameron Matthews. In the fourth quarter, Greg Parker hits Mike Harris to extend the War Angel lead. The Eagles answer right back with another Allen Webster touchdown run, but it's not enough. Their final score, Richmond War Angels 22, San Jose Eagles 16. And in other scores around the league, the Delta Ducks defeated the California Rhinos with a final score of 22 to six. Let's take a look at our performers of the week. Watching the PCFL show. The Rhinos bread and butter so far this season has been their defense. That said, they have shown the ability to move the ball on offense. They're going to need that to keep up with an explosive Chiefs offense that has shown it can put points on the board. The question is is the Chiefs' defense up to the challenge? The California Rhinos take on the Solano Chiefs Saturday at Vaca Christian High School. Kickoffs at 5 o'clock. Sponsored by A to Z Landscaping. The Delta Ducks found balance this past week, running and throwing the ball and spreading it around to a lot of different people. Can they do that again this week and keep the Richmond War Angel defense off balance? Almost the exact same thing can be said of the War Angel offense, who's facing one of the top defenses in the league. The Delta Ducks take on the Richmond War Angels, Duker Stadium, Pinole Valley High School. Kickoffs at 7 o'clock. The Fury had a good bounce back win this past week, but they face a tough test in Pacifica. Will they be up to the road trip challenge facing one of the toughest defenses in the league? And can the Islanders find some consistency on offense to match their defense? The Capital City Fury take on the Pacifica Islanders Saturday at Terra Nova High School. Kickoffs at 2 o'clock. Sponsored by Danny Chan Chiropractic of Daly City. Call for an appointment today. The San Jose Eagles may be a first-year team, but they've shown they have the talent, can be competitive. They just need to put it all together. After two close losses, the Giants had a little bit of a letdown this past week. Can they bounce back and come out with the win? The San Jose Eagles take on the Golden State Giants Saturday. Galileo Academy Field kickoffs at 1 o'clock. When the Outlaws take on the Rattlers, it'll be the battle of the last two unbeaten teams in the PCFL. This is going to be a fascinating matchup. Both teams have shown the ability to put points on the board. 
but both teams' strengths are their defense, and they are ranked number one and two in the league. This game could go either way. All I know, whoever's got the most points at the end is going to win. The South Beach Outlaws take on the North Bay Rattlers this Saturday, Santa Rosa High School. Kickoffs at 1 o'clock. Yes, this one does say April 13th. Due to venue scheduling, we'll have a rare Sunday game. While the Tri-Valley Bulls are showing the growing pains of a first-year team, they're also showing they're not far off from putting it together. They'll be facing a Spartan team who's experienced some growing pains of their own in their first year back. The Tri-Valley Bulls take on the Salinas Valley Spartans this Sunday, April 13th. Kickoffs at 1 o'clock at Rabobank Stadium. Sponsored by Famous Dave's. Well, that's it for another episode of the PCFL Show. Check back around next Thursday for the next episode of Highlights. Also, be sure to share the show links on Facebook. The more we get out into our communities, the more people we get coming to our games. Also, check out the PCFL.com for more info. I'm your host, Angry Mike, and I'll see you this season.